Hello and welcome back to Crash Medical 3, we're in Tomb Time, and sorry to inform you of this, but I accidentally went into this level while trying to ex uh, examine the video file and skipped the cutscene that you get from Dingo Dial. Yeah, I guess that's karma for doing that. I deserve that. But basically, the di all the cutscene was is insane and... Oh, I'm trying to just think of it now. Hello, mate. Oka Oka and Cortex of, uh, fuck, something to do with the Ice Ages and I'll roast ya, because I'm Australian. And Australians have flamethrowers, mate. I know he's a dingo down and everything, but why with the flamethrower? It doesn't make all that much sense, but it's a Crash Bandicoot game, so I'm not going to go over it. So, as you can see, we have deadly platforms of falling, which are scarabs, which is the generic symbol in Egyptian times. Funny thing is, Dingo Dale says, um, in the Ice Ages, but there's nothing in this game relevant to the Ice Ages. There's nothing relevant to the Ice Ages at all in this game, I, I think. There's not a single ice level, aside from Dingo Dale, of course. Then again, I'd probably get proved wrong by that later. So they explode as soon as you go off screen, that's good. Oh. So I've got to get up there. What do I do? Break this, then... Ah, that's not how you do it. Suicide point. It's a good thing that every bonus round has a suicide point, so I don't have to skip these. <laughs> I love this music. Yeah, it's quite a good remix. Um, break, break, break. There we go. That makes sense. And that was all 19 boxes. Yeah. But that was a very early bonus round. I mean, we're just around halfway through the level. But that was only via crate standards. So we still got quite a, little, a lot of level ahead of us. Oh, not this. <laughs> well, hi there, Paula. Yeah, anyone remember that from Crash Bandicoot 2 with Polo? Oh, that's a bitch to deal with. Because you got to get over them, but also not get squished by them. Oh, what? What the fuck? Oh. This is... Do I still have the bonus round? Oh, thank god. I would have been super pissed if I if I lost that bonus round. <laughs> Fucking monkeys! I'm gonna jump on him some more. Every apple counts, cause I'm losing lives like a bitch. And everyone wants to hear that. <laughs> What are you fucking looking at? <laughs> Go fuck yourself, homie guy. Now here's a new kind of trap. Dart traps. I think you see a lot of them in a later level. Flamethrower guys, pretty bog standard for an Egyptian level. Even though, it, well, then again, it, it is Dingrid House stages, so flamethrowers probably are in abundance. 
Hutcha. You need the purple gem to get down there. Uh. Ah. Oh. Wait. Can I do this? Yeah, you can get over here, but you can't get through here. Oh, 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 There we go. I hope there's no boxes further in that stage. There wasn't in, in the yellow crate, in the yellow gem stage, so I assume that we don't need it. <coughs> oh, jeez. I've got a cold, so if I'm snee sniffling, I'm sorry. Oh, please don't fall. Oh, please don't fall. Uh, oh, thank God. Yeah, unless you jump over those, it's pretty hard to dodge them unless you crawl. Indiana Jones star! Like a boss. Okay, so he throws a crap ton of these at you at this time. But that's mainly just due to compensate for the amount of times you're going to fail missing the crates. There we go. Because you can't see the crates when you're under them. It's just like, what kind of flamethrower is that? What kind of flamethrower is that? I know they're probably clones created by Cortex, so they wouldn't really know the difference, but still. That makes no sense that they would be here. Oh, send me back, Scotty. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Get up there. There we go. You can also pull, push down that lever yourself by smacking it. Which is pretty cool. Neo! It's funny, the Egyptian level music here actually reminds me of... Um, uh, there's some gems in that room. Well, looks like I'm f screwed there. Gonna have to get that one, get the gem. And I think you can only get the gems inside the relic rooms. Which I'm not getting until the end of the game, so this is going to be a very prolonged let's play. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, so in the next episode, we shall be going into Midnight Run, or Midnight Riders. See you guys next time.